In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. OK, so I have a couple of examples for us. So let's first multiply the polynomial 2x by the polynomial 3x minus 2. Now, just as far as terminology is concerned, 2x is called a monomial because there's only one term. But 3x minus 2 would be a binomial because there are two terms. The first term here is 3x, and the second term is negative 2. So the way we multiply a, mon a monomial by a binomial is by taking the monomial and distributing it. So we're going to multiply the 2x by the 3x, and then we're going to multiply the 2x by the negative 2. Okay, So this ends up giving 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And then 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Now we can't go any further in this problem, and the reason is because these two terms are not like terms because they have, well, they have the same variable but different exponents. So we're finished with this problem. Now let's go over to here where we're multiplying together, well, a binomial by another binomial. OK, so the way we do this is we start with the binomial on the left and take each of its terms one term at a time. Take that x, for example, to begin with. And we're going to take that x and we're going to distribute it over the second binomial. So it's first going to be x times x, and then x times positive 4. And once we're done with that, then we're going to go on with the negative 6, and go negative 6 times x, and negative 6 times 4. OK, so let's do it. First, starting with the x. x times x is x squared. And then x times positive 4 is positive 4x. And now let's go on to the negative 6. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And we write that as minus 6x. And negative 6 times positive 4 is negative 24. Now we're actually not finished with this one because we can combine like terms. These two terms are like because they both have x raised to the first power. The x squared just remains as it is, x squared. And remember, the way you uh, combine like terms is by adding the coefficients. So positive 4 with a negative 6. So 4 minus 6 is a negative 2x, which is minus 2x, and then minus 24. OK, so we had one extra step to do on this problem, and that was combine like terms. OK, let's try another one uh, like this last one. OK, let's multiply, once again, two binomials, right? and start with the 3x, multiply it by both of these. So let's see that. OK, so first it's going to be 3x times the 5x, and then 3x times negative 4 after that. And then we're going to go on to the negative 2. And it's going to be negative 2 times positive 5x, and negative 2 times negative 4. So when you're doing this problem on a test, Feel free to draw in these little arrows if that helps you remember uh, exactly how we do it. So let's see, 3x times 5x is 15x squared. And then 3x times negative 4, well, that's negative 12x. And then negative 2 times positive 5x is negative 10x. And negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And now, once again, that we have to combine like terms, right? So 15x squared. And let's see, it's negative 12 and negative 10, which is a negative 22x. And then plus 8 once again. OK, so this would be our answer in this problem. OK, maybe try one more. Let's make sure we've got it. OK, so here we're multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. So whenever you're multiplying together two polynomials, you always take the one that has fewer terms and take each of its terms and multiply it by the other polynomial. So you know, as far as the arrows are concerned, it's going to look like this. x times x squared, and then it's going to be x times the positive 2x, and then the x times the positive 4. And then we'll have to go on to the negative 2, and it'll be negative 2 times x squared, and negative 2 times positive 2x, and negative 2 times positive 4. OK, so let's do all six of those, uh, pro uh, calculate all six of those products. So x times x squared is going to be x cubed. And x times positive 2x, 
is plus 2x squared. x times positive 4x, or x times positive 4 is positive 4x. And now let's go on to the negative 2. So negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times positive 2x is a negative 4x. And negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. And now are we finished? Well, no, because we can combine like terms, right? Well, the x cubed, that can't combine with any term. But we have 2x squared and negative 2x squared, and those cancel, right? Positive 2x squared and negative 2x squared, they cancel. And actually, the positive 4x and the negative 4x, those cancel as well, right? So these are like terms, the positive 4x and the negative 4x, and they cancel because 4 minus 4 is 0, and 0 times x is 0. But we still have the uh, negative 8 there, so we, our answer is x cubed minus 8. Let's see if I can write that a little better so you can see it. So x cubed minus 8. Okay, so this would be our answer in this problem. Now, so that just remember, when you multiply uh, polynomials together, you always start with the polynomial with the fewest number of terms and multiply each of those terms by the polynomial that you're multiplying the first polynomial by. Okay, until next time.